to go home and kick your wife too? You know what? Ow! What are you doing? Welcome to the John Legato Show. I'm John Legato. It's showtime, folks. It's showtime. Here's Johnny. I'm not sure the current whereabouts about Glenn Syria. I'm not even sure he's still auditing. But this video is a classic example of the true goal of most frauditors. It's no longer about free speech. Maybe at first it was. But now it's an all-out effort to incite cops to act. And Serio provides us Exhibit A. How do you fare without your knife in your pocket? You probably don't do too well without all that equipment, right? You guys are one of the most hideous police departments in Washington. You are garbage. You are absolutely garbage, dude. Yeah, your buddy uh, Jordan Korea, yeah, he set me up with some charges recently. All auditors are innocent victims of the system. Yeah, your buddy uh, Jordan Korea, yeah, he set me up with some charges recently. He's about to be fired. What's that? Say again? Where, what law is that? Cite a law. I don't need state law. Cite a law. Glenn, I'm giving you a lawful order. Cite a you law. You're a police operation right uh -huh. now. If you interfere with me or my give officers. Me, give me 25 feet. Right here, sir. Give you me 25 right feet. Here. Glenn. Give me 25 Glenn, feet. If you don't move back, you're interfering with me. I am not. And you, 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 you are. You're playing and hindering me. You walked up to me. You walked up to me. You walked up to me. I need to land. Can you take a step back, sir? I need to land. Go ahead, land. I'm out of your way. I don't want to hit you with this thing. It will hurt. He needs to land here, Glenn. Up. Move back or you're going to get arrested. You don't know the law. I do know you the law. You don't know the law. Glenn, move back the law is or five you're going to get arrested. Five feet. No, sir. You need to move back, Glenn. Make I'm going to give you a last chance. I'm Make ordering me. you to lawfully move back so he can land his drone. He Safe can land his drone. I'm on his way. He's landing it right there. Get out of my face. Glenn, get out of my back. face. Get out of my face. Glenn, I'm going to count to 20. Count to 20. And you're going to get arrested for obstruction. Thank you. Al, you're going to go to prison with your son. You're both going to go to prison where you belong. You're going to go to prison, Al. You're going to go to prison. That's where you belong. Jordan's going to prison. Your son's a piece of garbage. So the question before us today is, uh, what is the point where protected speech like screaming profanities at cops and insulting their families personally. When does it cross a line? Is there a line? We might have to take this guy out. We might have to take this motherfucker out. Look what he's doing. Look what he's doing. Step back, motherfuckers. I'm not going to turn around. You can't make me. You can't make me. This guy's a tyrant. If he attacks them, I'll jump him. Your son's a piece of garbage. Without his gun, without his belt, he's a piece of garbage. Shut your mouth. Stay there and shut your mouth, Al. Shut your mouth, Al. You're an old man. Retire. Retire. We don't need dirty cops. You give Italians a bad name. Stop the presses. The fact that Syria is an Italian bothers me immensely. I'm demanding, Glenn Syria, that you take a test, the, the mail-in DNA test, and I'm offering you $500 if it comes back even 90% Italian. Come on. You give Italians a bad name. You and your dirty son give us a bad name. You are garbage. You are garbage don't ever try to set me up with charges again don't ever have your son follow me in a car again your son preys upon me again he'll be arrested yeah get the fuck out of here first amendment right to free speech is is not unlimited one restriction is fighting words so let's listen to what legally constitutes fighting words and ask ourselves does serio cross that line 
Fighting words. Is this where you approach someone and you literally provoke them into violence? Yes, like slapping them with gloves across their face before My a dear duel. Sir. Exactly. Fighting words is provoking someone to hurt you, perhaps. That's exactly right. That you impugn their honor to the point that a rational person would have to respond by slapping you in the face. Yeah, get the out of here, piece of garbage. Your son, Jordan. You know, I'm not sure if that last exchange of words constituted fighting words, but how about this previous area audit at a post office? That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Step back. Well, step back. There you go. Go ahead, take it. Take it. Take it. You can have it. You can have it. Take it. Shove it up your ass. All right. Shove it up your ass. Okay. Miss Sue. Shove it up your ass, Miss Sue. Shove it up your ass, Mitsu. There you go. Shove it up your ass. Wow. You don't want to get physical with me. I'll Not take you down. I'll sweep your leg. Threat, sir? I'll sweep your leg. Okay. You need to leave. I don't need to leave. I'm on a public sidewalk. Well, we, we don't. I'm on a public We're sidewalk. Not have you stand here and make threats. It's, so it's not a threat. Mutual not combat a state. Mutual combat state. Okay. Your understanding of the law is hey, correct. Hey, if you both want to come at me at once, I'll okay. take you both down. Most of us can't figure out why officers must take this abuse. I mean, the auditors are not reacting to scenes of abuse where officers are hitting nuns and 10-year-olds with nightsticks. They're filming routine interactions with police officers, and then they create a scene. Is this a legitimate cause or some circus act by grifters like Glenn Syria? And the other question is, how long must this go on? The John Legato Show is being broadcast from outside the gates of Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune in beautiful North Carolina. If you like the show, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, and we don't ask for personal information. Semper Fidelis.